My next guest says there is still plenty upside for stocks in 2019, but volatility, obviously, it will remain. Joining us is John Codunas, Calamos CEO, and it's a pleasure to have you here. You make the argument that actively managed funds will outperform what a lot of us who are lazy investors like to consider, which are the passive funds, you know, index funds. Just go there. Sure. Well, in the last year or so, we've been seeing a tremendous amount of inflow in our funds. And I believe the reason for this is because people want to have uh, performance that's actively managed. And people that have experience over several years in different cycles are performing pretty well. And what our success has been is our funds do what they say they're going to do. And this volatile market, people need to be careful. And they need good risk management. And they need to be somewhat defensive. Now, I know that in December, some of the bigger firms came out and say, go into cash. We don't agree. We feel you should be uh, constructive. We feel that you should be uh, defensive. But when you go into cash and the market comes back, you miss you'll it. never make those returns. But, but I think if this metric is right, correct me when I'm wrong, uh, $2 billion just this month moved into money markets. Mm -hmm. Who are investors listening to? Because it seems as if they don't know where to go. All asset classes, there was an article in the journal this mm -hmm. morning, all asset classes rising in tandem. Where do you find yield? And if you're afraid, it seems like you go to a money market and wait. Well... It's true. Passive has still outperformed it last year the active investors. What we're seeing is, is, is an anomaly. We're seeing that we're, we've had an incredible year. In fact, in our liquid alts, we're number one as far as uh, 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 inflows uh, out of any funds in, in, the, in the world. And we're a great company you know, with PIMCO, BlackRock, Blackstone. Uh, JP Morgan Asset Management, and overall, we're number four in terms of how much we have in liquid alts. Market neutral, which is something that's really good if rising rates happen. We have Phineas Long Short, which is fantastic in a volatile environment, which we know we're in. We know we're going to be in at least for at least 2019, if not for the foreseeable future. Hedged equity, which mm -hmm. is another one of our funds that's doing really well that it's outperforming every time there's a down market, it does better than regular equities. I think Michael wants to ask you a question. Yeah, John, you know, you're preaching the choir here. You know, the right active strategies, uh, you know, hopefully are going to do really well in 2019. That would be exciting. So you mentioned market neutral equities, finance long short. Equity long short funds are under a lot of pressure for underperforming. What's, what's the special sauce at Calamos? Well, if you look at, in the long run, the volatility. 2017, we had zero moves that were higher than 2%. In 2018, we had over 20, right? And if you look at since the correction in 08, 09, we've had 22 market moves on the downside that were over 5%. If you look at that in the equity markets, 21 out of the 22 convertible securities have outperformed the equity market. A lot of our securities and our funds have underlying convertible strategies in them. Okay. And that's been something that's been a real positive for us. And that's why we've gotten some tremendous inflows. Just a real quick question. This active versus passive thing is an age old debate, right? Sure. And one of the things that we've been telling our clients is, although we're moving you know, from QE to QT, and rates maybe aren't going to go up as much as we thought they were about six months ago, we're still lessening the balance sheets, right? Central banks around the world are still bringing money off of their balance sheets, Correct. which would tell us that fundamentals should matter more than they used to, which is a good argument for active. But what we've seen this year is that I'm not sure it's really fundamentals driving this. So how do you have that conversation? Well, there, there's no question. Fundamentals have made the market go up a lot. Mm -hmm. We've seen that since the new administration has been here. But the volatility is geopolitical. Mm -hmm. There's no question it's China. There's no question it's shutting down the, the, the government. It's North Korea all this stuff that we cannot predict. The only thing we can predict that there will be volatility. And so how do you defend against that? I got to cut you there. I would love to ask you about Mario Draghi. It seems as if the ECB may, after this summer, be getting ready to, to create even more easy money in Europe. But we are out of time. John, it was really a pleasure to have you. Thank, Thank you for joining us.